Oh, hey there, guys. Showtime checking in. Welcome. So excited to see you. Hey, question for you. Have you ever wondered what it's like behind the scenes at the baddest dudes? I sure know I have. Hey, I know. Let's go see where the magic happens. Okie dokie, guys. Now that we're in, shut that right there. Come take a look at my office slash bedroom. Here's the bedroom side. Pretty fun. We got a bar, drinks, all that cool stuff, a bed to sleep on. Oh, hey, look what time it is. Oh, Mario Odyssey peeking his face through there. Oh, a guitar. Oh, also a green screen. So I've also basically had, okay, so what happened is, is I've had a lot of people put in, uh, you know, requests and ask me, like, hey, uh, we want to see what it's like, you know, how to do a live stream, how to do a YouTube video, like, what goes into it, what kind of equipment do you use? So that's what this video is going to be all about. Uh, I'm going to start off by just, you know, kind of going through my room just a little bit, and then we'll hop on the computer there, and I'll show you some software stuff that, of the side of things that I do, like the technical stuff. Uh, so first, it's just, hey, look at you. This is where all I, keep, I keep all my games. Uh, so there's the awesome Mario Odyssey hats, Shondo's famous hat. Uh, yeah, that's all my games and consoles I keep in there. I have nothing fancy to showcase them on. Uh, I keep, like, some stuff over there, too. Uh, this is where I have mostly everything that I uh, like to currently be doing. Like, there's the Nintendo 64, uh, PlayStation 4, awesome stuff, awesome sausage. PlayStation 3, Bloddy Blue, Office Supplies, of course. You can't go wrong with Office Supplies. Stess Classic, there's my Intuos Wacom. Uh, drawing Tablet, I haven't done a live stream yet on it yet, but I promise, guys, I will eventually get around to it. Uh, I promise you. Uh, so, and then also, let me get out of that lighting there, Ooh, and the wire in the way too. Uh, the Nintendo Switch, that's where I keep that buddy. Uh, cool little book, I'm going to be doing a series called Show and Tell, that's going to be uh, one of them, I'm trying to get the lighting right, that's going to be one of them that I do, I'm going to show you guys that book, it's cool, and then also the guitar from over there uh, as well. Um, there's my awesome gaming chair that I bought. So fun, so great. It's really doing me justice. It's so sexy. Uh, this is where the magic happens. Uh, this is where I do all the live streams. There's my, my webcam. Uh, let me just get close up there, right there. It's a C920 uh, webcam. Um, just This is a just regular JVC headset. That's where I play the games on that TV. That's where I do all the computer work. So I just have two monitors. Uh, this is an Asus desktop. Uh, I'll throw up the specs right now, just off onto the side. I got this thing a couple years ago to start the channel with. Um, I went with PC because I didn't want complications because I know that Macs are harder to work with uh, when it comes to that stuff, even though they are pretty good. Um, but that's what that is. That's uh, my storage, backup storage device. It's five terabytes of extra storage, so just in case I need extra things. Um, so yeah. Uh, my green screen, I think I may have already mentioned this. I don't use it very often because it's hard to get the lighting right into this room. So I just kind of keep it up there, and I, I use it for my Resident Evil video, so that's how that works. Uh, I can get it to work sometimes, but not with live streaming. It kind of sucks. But anyways, let's move on to the most important things here. You guys want to know how we get these live streams to work. So basically... This is the Blue Yeti, so I have the block, the blocks, the box out, so you guys can see it real quick. But that's kind of what the box looks like. You can find this at your local electronic retailer. Blah de blah. Uh, but this mic has been treating me real good. The bat suit's real good. Uh, this is how we did all of our like, you know, stuff all together, like podcast style. We just throw that mic down, uh, hit record, and it works all good. So I highly recommend this mic. I know it's very popular. Got the uh, the black edition, which is. I like the black color, it's really cool. Also, a lot of people ask me, what do you use to stream? So, this little baby here, if I'm streaming with, like, consoles, uh, I'll connect this, basically, uh, via HDMI and th through the computer. So, like, there'll be, like, a, th a thing that goes, let's see. So, there says USB on the right, that goes from the computer to there. HDMI out goes into the TV, so an HDMI, so that way it gets to the display. Uh, the game. HDMI in is where the HDMI cable goes uh, from the console. So you just connect the console's HDMI to there, like let's say a PS4. AV in, that's like if I wanted to do, 
like this here, if I wanted to play like Nintendo 64, like this bad boy, I would hook, these are the composites cables that I would use uh, to do it. And I would just plug it in with this thing. Then that would go into that little that little section right there. And uh, same thing if I want to do PS3. PS3 has like a special uh, thing too where you need this. Like, it's really strange. Hold on. So like, yeah, like you got to use this. It's a special sort of like HDMI. I don't know. It's weird. Ugh, hold on. If it gets into focus. See, it's not like quite HDMI, but it's like it's, it's just a weird, weird, strange thing. And the PS3 will plug right into that little thing too. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are wondering how that works, if I'm doing HDMI, that's that. If I want to do like old school Nintendo 64 games, that's all I got to do is just use this little adapter thing. And that's, I just plug all the composites in. And then that's just how that all works. So that's, that's that. Um... In there, I just kind of just keep extra controllers and, and whatnot, so, uh, but yeah, but that's just kind of how, how it works, guys. Um, what we're going to do now is sit in this bad boy here, and uh, we're going to hop on the computer, and uh, ooh, you can see me there. I'm going to start showing you guys a little bit of, you know, what you, what I do on the computer. Uh, oh yeah, before I get to that, yeah, so I'll basically, so I'll use this to capture the uh, the game, like the console game itself, like a PS4 or like a PS3 or Nintendo 64. But I don't stream using this. I, I use the OBS software uh, to stream. So I think that would be a good segue into getting more into detail about that. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at this either. Um, that's what this box looks like. It's like the older school version, Game Capture HD. Uh, it's not the HD 60. Because the HD60, from what I understand, uh, is that you can't stream older systems other than, like, the PS4, Xbox 360, blah, blah, blah. You can't do anything before that, you know, AK, like, maybe a PS3 or whatever. I know I used AK wrong, but who gives a shit? Um, but, yeah, uh, this is, it's very special to note that this is not, like, the most recent sort of Elgato game capture, so don't get confused uh, with that. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's, uh, let's go, oh, that's my Evil Within 2 thumbnail. Let's go into the computer monitor and uh, see what's going on. All right, guys, what up? Now that we are in my computer officially, uh, I'll be able to just kind of take you guys through uh, the process of what I do for a live stream. So I'm just going to kind of go through the most simple things. Obviously, I'm not going to go through uh, things such as like, hey, like this is where I use my, or this is where I go to do my thumbnails, which is GIMP, um, along with other things. I'll do, a, I think I'll do a separate video or live stream on that another time, but just to move things forward, we're just going to move forward and uh, I'll show you what I use just to stream, just the basics of how to get it going. Um, I can go in a very big detail, but there's, there's really no point to do it. Um, but this is the, the main interface of Elgato. I used to stream straight from Elgato, uh, but I found out that it's, it proves to not to be all that, that great. Like, it slows down the computer greatly. Um, like, I'll show you here. Like, I always like to keep a tab open here. Um, you can see the CPU is running, like, pretty high, like 60, 70, 80. You don't want that. I mean, like, going up to 80 is kind of high when you stream. You want to keep around, like, 60% uh, for CPU usage. Uh, you also want to try to keep your disk percentage down as much as possible. But uh, that's for another time. But um, I'm just going to run through, like, the very basics, show you the interface. Um, this is the Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, what it looks like, you can choose, like, your different, like, layers and stuff. Or different, like, overlay settings. Um, like, this one here is for Resident Evil. <laughs> like, that just pops up. But I don't even use this anymore. Oh, and there's my face. What up? <laughs> But uh, I don't even use this anymore. Uh, I only use OBS for the most part. Um, you can see how much gigabytes you have free left. Uh, here's your record button. There's your stream button. Commentary. That's all that kind of junk. I mean, if you're just going to be doing only with the Elgato, then you'd want to follow that. But there's better ways to go. Um, so, I mean, for the most part, for setting up stream, um, I, this is Dark Souls, obviously. Uh, why don't you wave? Uh, showgirls. Alright. So, uh, 
what I'm going to show you is just basically what I would need to do. So I open up Elgato is the first thing to do. I'm going to click on this button here. Uh, I have everything hooked up already. You can see it's 70, 60, 7, 720p, 60 frames per second. Um, all I got to really do is like just from the selection of things, just kind of just make sure that uh, I have it towards the console that it's on. So you can see here I have all the, this array of options. If I'm doing it on a PS4, I'll click PS4. Um, if I'm doing like a Nintendo Switch, I'll click on the Nintendo Switch for the input device. If I'm doing anything that's composite or like anything retro, like a Nintendo 64 for example, um, I would hit other. So that's how I would do that. Or if I'm doing PC, but now I just use OBS for that. Um, there's also all these different other settings like the you can adjust the, the contrast, the colors, I do that too. Um, all these specific settings. I won't go into detail with that, but like I can change the profile to 720, 1080, all that kind of thing. So this is the very basic start to setting up a stream. I'll first go to Elgato, and then I'll I'll make sure that I get a, a proper picture uh, in the background, like like I am right here. So like this is just like the video feed for the game. Um, I can tweak settings here, like quality. I keep it at best. Um, yeah, this, this is basically all I do. Um, so once that's done, um, I will close out. This is the Elgato software. I'll close out of the Elgato software. Um, and then I'll open OBS. So luckily I already have OBS open. So here's OBS. We'll pop that open really quick. So once I get the Elgato going um, with the, the proper selection for what I'm doing, um, I'll go to like scene selection. Right now I have, I have it set to desktop recording. Um, but yeah, I have which is what I do if I'm trying to record off my desktop. But you can see here I have like a bunch of uh, different names here for video games. Like you see my Zelda Majora's Mask, Ocarina, Mario 64. So I have a different like overlay setting for everything. Um, it keeps things easy for me if I want to go back to a game or like that kind of thing. So um, I'm currently streaming Dark Souls 1 and uh, GoldenEye 64, those are the two main games at this time. But like here's the, I'll click on this, here's the Zelda Ocarina of Time. Hey, what's up guys? This is So this is my overlay with Ocarina of Time that I did. When it comes to this stuff, you can basically click, point and click, and move stuff just about anywhere. Like you can see like, I'm, hide, I'm hiding behind the, the title now. If I put like the camera on the very top, like, see I can put the camera like anywhere I want, I can grow it. Let me, so yeah, you can see I can just move shit around, really. Like, oh, we, we're having fun. Um, but yeah, you, I basically just can import the images as is, and throw them anywhere I want, change the size. Uh, I can even, like, scrunch myself. Let's, let's see. Well, I could, like, crop, crop images like that. Um, shift. I, yeah, and then I can like squeeze myself out of existence. So I'm gone. These are all free. Like I can just move these. Even the game screen. Like I can move this around too. Like so, you can see how I, I totally messed it all up. Wave again, showgirls. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so you can see down here. There's just a bunch of different things. I'll just briefly kind of show how it works. You just hit plus. Um, what I'll do to build it is like I'll do like a, a video capture device and like I'll name it let's say like Elgato and I hit OK. Um, right now you can see that it's set up to my camera. I don't know if this is going to fuck up my recording or not but like I'll choose Elgato right here. Um, oh no it shouldn't. I'll choose Elgato and then what it should do, this is how I get it to work through OBS. I'll go to video capture device then I'll go to device switch it over to Elgato Game Capture HD and you can see here that it basically takes what's going on in my Elgato. I forgot to explain that earlier. So yeah, it's basically taking what's going on in my Elgato that I had before that I closed earlier and it's just taking it into this this stream here. So like I have that open as, as a layer. So now I could just like tweak it around with it. I'll right click it, hit properties, and then Resolution type, custom, I think, oh, probably put it to 1280 by 720. You can also change the, the frame rates per second as well. So 
let me like wait for this to work it yep there it goes so basically now it's at a 720p or 1280-720p and I can shrink it like so so this see so now it's like the proper resolution alright guys now that we have the video game capture overlay done next step is to add in a webcam now in order to do that uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and hide this because it will get in the way of my desktop recording we're gonna add in video capture device again but we're gonna call this one the C920 webcam uh, basically just that's pretty much my webcam that I use and you can see that I pop up what's up guys and gals uh, down here is essentially you can mess around with the resolution settings, etc. Size of the video, frames per second. Here you can configure video. This is actually kind of important. So what I do, I'll click on that. It will bring this up here, so I can go into advanced settings. Uh, as you can see, I, if I click on normal, it'll be. This is how I usually do it, like this. This is mirrored, so you flip flop them if you want. Uh, you could change like the brightness, contrast, color intensity uh, of the video, of the webcam. Here you can zoom in and out. It's also another thing that you can do. And also, as well, you can just kind of just manually adjust it with your hands. Uh, however you want to, like reposition and all that stuff. So that's what I do to add in the webcam. Pretty plain and simple. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And now the webcam's in. You can adjust it like so, just like always. Uh, Put that up here and we'll unhide that and yeah you can see that uh, we're coming along that's essentially how I have my Dark Souls uh, live stream set up with the webcam and this overlay I'll put in like a black background right here uh, as well and other overlays as well uh, like such as like the Twitter and then the Twitch and then the Dark Souls. I'm not going to go through all of that right now. I'm just kind of showing you how it's done. But just for the sake of you know showing you guys, I'm going to do it for one of them. So we'll hide the Elgato again. We'll add in an image this time, and we'll call this image the Twitch image. Hit browse, and we have editing my editing folder already. Uh, open so that's perfect I keep a lot of my uh, little special stuff like retro stream there show stream uh, even have a little cartoon version of me right here here's the show though here's my twitch final so I'll go ahead and pop that baby open hit OK so you can see and we'll shrink that up put that up there and boom so that's where I would usually have like the twitch like up here right uh, you can put it anywhere you want though we'll just put it like right here so it's visible but yeah so that's how you edit an image you could do that just for about anything uh, we'll do another one image we'll just call it showtime hit that browse I actually just for a fun fact if you guys didn't know I did make this <laughs> I did make this uh, cartoon of myself uh, through Mario Paint, I just kind of elgato it in here. Took a picture of it with my Elgato. Uh, so yeah, so that's 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 that, guys. Um, pretty plain and simple uh, in terms of uh, adding in images and overlays. If you wanted to add in, like let's say like a sub alert, uh, you're gonna want. Let me just get rid of these. You're gonna want to add in a browser source. Uh, so. Once you have Streamlabs open and you have like all your, your sub alerts finished and you're ready to import them into say OBS here, you're going to want to do a browser source, add that in, do sub alert, hit OK, and then you'll see this little URL here uh, that you're going to go ahead and copy and paste the URL link that Streamlabs gives you for sub alerts, kind of like, oh, like so-and-so subscribed or so-and-so donated this amount of money. Um, that's what this section is for. So you would just replace this URL with that URL from Streamlabs, hit OK, and it goes invisible, uh, at least with the sub alerts. And when somebody donates, boom, it'll come up on the screen, however you had it preset in Streamlabs. Uh, so that's how sub alerts work. Very easy. Um, 
Now, the next thing that's important to go over uh, is this, these little audio stuff down here. Uh, you can see desktop audio, mic um, audio, C920 Elgato. Desktop audio is essentially for like anything that you're using for uh, your desktop. Like let's say you're playing a YouTube video or you're playing music from your computer. This desktop audio is going to be what represents that. That's how you're going to hear that audio. Mic, obviously that's what I'm using here. The Blue Yeti microphone. Um, very recommended microphone if you're just getting started off on YouTube. Uh, very reliable. Um, you could, it also records multiple groups of people too uh, as well. Picks them up. But that's how you, you add that in there. Uh, the C920 webcam has a built-in mic. I don't use it because it's, in all honesty, it's kind of just there if you don't have an extra mic and it's not that great quality. Uh, but it is a backup mic if I need it. So I just keep that off, turned off in the regular settings. And then here's Elgato. Elgato is basically, uh, it's the game sound, the game volume. Um, so you can see that the, as I'm rolling around, doing stuff, uh, that little green monitor gauge thing keeps kind of going up and down. So that's the video game sound. Now you can see that they're all adjustable. So if I wanted to lower my voice, I can lower my voice. Ah, but I can also raise it again. Uh, C920 webcam, I don't need to worry about that because I haven't muted. Elgato, if I needed to lower the game sound, then I would just do it like right here. Because like a lot of times like when we're like, hey guys, is my voice too loud? Is, is, the, is the game volume good? I'll essentially, this is where I would go um, while I'm live streaming to adjust those levels. So that's, in a nutshell, kind of how the audio side of things work when I'm live streaming. Uh, it's very important. How do you add them in, do you ask? You're going to go to settings over here. Um, but before I do that, let me mute this. Uh, hide that. Uh, we're going to go to settings. And go to audio. You can see it's very complicated. So I only pay attention to a couple things. Uh, you can see desktop audio device. So this is adding in the desktop audio device if I want like music or something. I'll just go to the MX279. I believe that's my, my monitor um, or that's probably my uh, computer, one of the two. Either way, I know that that one works and that gives me desktop audio. So now if I want to use the Blue Yeti, I'll go to microphone settings and I'll choose from here. Uh, microphone Yeti. I can see I could do the HD Pro webcam if I want to, but why would I do that? Because my Yeti is much better. So that's how I select that. And then you would usually, usually just hit apply, and that's how it would throw in uh, the audio sections there. Uh, so that's how I, I add in uh, sound and audio to my mix. I'll give you guys a quick example of how the, uh, the desktop audio works. I already have this open here. We're going to play a little clip from uh, Resident Evil. It's called Still Dawn. It's one of my favorite songs from the game. Uh, it's like basically the end credits music, um, but we'll put that on real quick so you can see. So now you can see desktop audio is going crazy with the green. You can raise it, lower it, all that fun stuff. Bow. See, it's such a, such a, such an American '90s song, though, isn't it? But I can also mute it too, like so if you guys can't hear it, I can still hear it, but you guys can't. Now you guys can hear it again. Um. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, pause on that. So that's just an example of desktop audio. So that basically completes the audio section. So now I, I went over overlays, how that works, putting, or putting in the overlays putting in the sub alerts, putting in the images, also webcam, and then the actual video game itself. Now, next step, let's say, hey, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start live streaming. I'm done with you know putting in my overlays. I'm done with uh, the polish. I'm really happy with the way that my setup is. I'm ready to start to go live. Next step is you gotta go to settings um, to adjust this. Oh, before I do that though, God, I can't forget. Gotta get, oops, gotta get rid of this stuff so you can guys can see what I'm doing here. Uh, we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna choose um, 
stream. Make sure it's set to streaming services. Uh, then you can go, or however you want, but this is what I do. I'm just showing you what I do. Uh, you can then you go to service. You can choose an array of options. There's Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, Mixer, Facebook, um, la la la. There's a lot of options. Obviously, I only stream from Twitch or YouTube, primarily YouTube. So I'm going to switch to YouTube there. Uh, stream key. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to do primary YouTube and just server. And then on your uh, YouTube live stream page, where you go live, or basically where you can see all of like your your, uh, your information on YouTube when you go live, like your chat, like your video feed, all that stuff. Uh, if you scroll down, like you'll see your stream key. It's very secret. You're not wanna, you're not gonna want to show people what your stream key is. Uh, but you're gonna want to copy and paste that into here, and hit apply. And when you do so, that's how you essentially connect OBS to YouTube. Uh, so very convenient to know that it's it's essential you can't stream without knowing this uh, but that's how you basically link the two services OBS and YouTube now um, next you can just mess around with the the, the bit rate um, this is actually very important uh, the higher the bit rate I, it's different for everybody from from my experience so I've noticed that the higher the bit rate the better but what they recommend is that they, you have half of what your um, upload speed is my upload speed is about 9.5 megabytes per second so I keep my video uh, bit rate half of that so about four megabytes uh, what I do so about 4,000 kilobytes uh, per second and you can adjust it however you want like I can throw in like 2,000 or 4,000 um, the biggest I just keep it at 4,000 for right now I like to mess around with it every once in a while um, the most common bit rate to stream at is about 2k uh, kilobytes per second I don't check out the audio bit rate I don't bother with that stuff um, I don't worry about it so next video I can't do anything right now since I'm recording but you can see there's a base canvas resolution and an output so the, the base canvas is just essentially setting the resolution um, towards what it is in OBS. So I have it set to 1980 or 1920 by 1080. Um, now output is when you start live streaming, what's it gonna go towards? I have it at 1080 right now because I'm recording, but what I will usually do is just have it set to uh, 720, just so that way I don't get so much buffering because I don't have a top of the line PC. So I, you just kind of figure out ways, different settings that you can uh, keep all these things at to make it work for you. So there's a lot of troubleshooting you have to do that I'm not going over right now and a lot of research you have to do. But I'm just essentially showing you kind of the process of what you, of how to get these settings going. There's hotkeys um, in advance. I don't generally touch any of this stuff. Um, I don't usually, I don't use the hotkeys. I don't, I don't know why, I just don't like to. But, uh, but that's essentially what you would do um, to get ready for a live stream, make sure all those settings are correct. Next thing I will do, obviously, the most important thing, is go live so what you're gonna to want to do next is hit start streaming I can't do it now since I am recording but you just hit that button there and you got everything set up correctly it's just gonna go right to YouTube it's gonna take all this information here and it's just gonna go right to YouTube and that's when you guys pop up in the chat and say hey what's up and then you can see me and everything and uh, so that's how all that works so I hope that this video was very insightful for you guys uh, as you see how I live stream um, I know there's a lot of people in our community that are trying to break out of ps4 live streaming uh, do something a little bit more advanced all right guys so that essentially completes my tutorial for how I do a live stream I hope this information finds you well and helps you with any sort of problems that you may have uh, figuring this stuff out uh, if you have any kind of questions for me, maybe things I did not answer for you, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I will gladly respond uh, to any questions to help you guys out. That's what I'm here for. Uh, my name is Showtime of the Baddest Dudes. I really appreciate you guys sticking to the end watching this video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to share. Tell your friends uh, about us. It does help us grow. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, so, with all that said, I had a lot of fun doing this. Showtime, checking out.